the kids who are born closest to the cutoff date, who are the relatively speaking the eldest in their class, have a small but not insignificant advantage, not just in first grade, but throughout their schooling history. Gladwell cites the work of economist Elizabeth Dewey at the University of Toronto, who analyzed the data of hundreds of thousands of students in 19 countries. Even as late as the eighth grade, the older kids had higher test scores than their classmates. She believes that's because the older kids got more attention from the start. They're just older, but they look more able, so they get in the higher reading group in kindergarten, so they learn how to read a little better. And then in first grade, they know how to read a little better, so they're put in the higher reading group again, and then they know how to read a little better in first grade, and it perpetuates over time. She says the data also show that older kids are more likely to attend college. And then there's the issue that haunts so many parents, popularity. I have a study looking at leadership effects, and I find that if you're relatively old in kindergarten, and that, that you're more likely to be a high school leader, a sports team captain, a club president. And so I think a lot of this works in this confidence-boosting leadership kind of capacity. When you've completed this, uh, dare I say, rather arcane university study, <laughs> did you think it would get the kind of attention it, it got? No, not at all. Not at all. But if you had a five-year-old, mm -hmm. would you hold him back? If they were the very youngest, probably.